The orders to build the White House came from George Washington. President Washington hired an Irishman named James Hoban. Hoban started working on the house in 1792. The work was done by Scottish masons and slaves. The masons were hired to build and carve the sandstone. The walls were painted white to keep the water from water and ice from seeping inside the walls and breaking the walls apart. President John Adams was the very first president to live in the White House along with his wife Abigail Adams. When the Adams moved into the White House, only six rooms were ready. Mrs. Adams used one room as a laundry room. Today, that same room is the red room of the White House. In 1805, President Jefferson started a tradition of presidents standing in front of the north side of the White House, meeting anyone and everyone of fair character and appearance. That tradition was kept until 18, to Herbert Hoover. Herbert Hoover stopped the tradition after he shook 6,000 people's hands. Andrew Jackson, when he became president, people trashed the White House. When James Madison and Dolly Madison were in the White House, the British invaded Washington, D.C. and set the White House on fire. What saved the White House from being burnt down was a torrential rainstorm that night. When Abraham Lincoln was killed in Washington, D.C., over 25,000 people walked through the White House to view his body that was laying in state inside the White House. Mrs. Lincoln was too overcome with grief to attend any of the ceremonies. President Theodore Roosevelt in 1901 gave the White House its official name, the White House. President William Howard Taft had the Oval Office built in the East Office Building of the White House. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt had the Oval Office moved to the southeastern part of the White House. Harry S. Truman had the Truman Balcony built in 1948. Also, why President Truman was in office from 1948 to 1952, the White House was completely gutted. The only thing left standing was the wall. It was completely gutted inside the White House and rebuilt. President Obama became the 44th President of the United States, and his wife, Michelle Obama, became the first African-American woman to be First Lady of the Land. Mrs. Obama started a White House garden on the south lawn of the White House where children from all over the world can come and tend the garden. People from all over the world come to see the White House. The Oval Office is one of four rooms in the White House that are round. The Oval Office is in the west wing of the White House. The White House has 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms, and six floors. There are 412 doors, 147 windows, 28 fireplaces, 8 staircases, and 2 basements. The White House is 55,000 square feet. And starting in the fall, people will be able to take White House tours again. You must contact your senator or your congressman. Come visit Washington. Come visit the White House.